all learn the news of the passing of one of Australia's great Prime Ministers and certainly Labor's greatest Prime Minister, in my view. The 23rd Prime Minister of Australia, Robert James Lee Hawke. His achievements will be spoken of in the days ahead. But the thing Australians will remember most about him was the bloke. He made Australia stronger through his contribution to public life. He had a great intellect, he had enormous passion, and he had courage, courage. And that was able to sustain him in being the longest serving Labor Prime Minister of all time. But it was his ability to connect with everyday Australians, with a word, with that larrikin wit, with that connection and an understanding of everyday Australian life that we will most remember Bob Hawke. I want to extend to Bob's wife, Blanche, on behalf of Jenny and I, our deep personal sympathies, and to all of Bob's family, and also to acknowledge the late Hazel Hawke as well. Bob lived a full life. He lived a rich life. And in his life, he blessed many others. And for that, I think, as Australians, we can give him great thanks. One thing I remember amongst many, it was Bob Hawke who changed our national anthem to say, Australians all let us rejoice. And tonight, while I'm sure I extend to the Labor movement and to Bill Shorten and his party, my deep sympathies on behalf of our political movement. I think we can all say, as Australians all, that we rejoice in the life of Bob Hawke. We thank him for his service to our nation. And we pray now that he rest in peace. Thank you, Bob. Sir. Scott Morrison on the death of Bob Hawke. It's